All right, folks, so I absolutely believe that tuning the recoil system in your pistol will help you get a faster, flatter, and easier sight track. Uh, to do that, I generally run a 13 pound flat wire spring in all of my pistols. Uh, what I offer in the way of guide rods are uh, black nitride finished guide rods. I had these made to my specs. I've been real happy with black nitride. It holds up really well to corrosion and rust. Um, I have guide rods available for um, all of Glock pistols, including the Gen 5 Glocks and also the M&P 2.0 compacts, the four inch model, not the 3.6. Let's look at installing a recoil spring on a guide rod, a way to do it. All right, so push that thing down manually and capture it with some pliers and then you can put your screw in and it'll be there. Okay, so the screw on the guide rod captures the spring that works well if you're shooting any of the, you know, a Gen 1 through 3 Glock or the M&Ps. If you're working with a Gen 4 or Gen 5 Glock pistol, you can see that that's not going to work. What you need then is an adapter. I've designed and had made a captured guide rod adapter for the Gen 4 and Gen 5 Glocks. All right, so you'll notice there's a flange on the guide rod adapter. It goes down towards the spring. Once again, I would recommend blue lock tight on your screw. Get that in there. Tighten it down, snug it up with the Allen wrench there, let everything go. It goes into the front of the uh, slide there, like so, and works perfectly.